It's been six years since the release of the first foldable smartphone, the Royole FlexPi, and ever since then, it seems like every single smartphone company has made their own version. Everyone except Apple. Samsung has had their Z Fold and Z Flip lineup for years, as well as Huawei, Motorola, OnePlus, and even Google. Yet Apple is the only one without a foldable offering. And no, the iPhone 6 doesn't count. But Apple's been developing not just folding phones, but also folding iPads and MacBooks for years now. And new developments reveal that the first foldable iPhone could finally come to light. Maybe. Let's dive in. According to the information, Apple is working on a foldable iPhone that could be released as early as 2026. It's rumored to adopt a clamshell design, much like the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. So instead of being a normal sized phone opening up to be a little iPad, the first foldable iPhone will fold down to half the size to fit better in your pocket. But wait, this is not the first time we're hearing this. A foldable iPhone has been in development for years now, and we know that because every year there's always new reports that Apple is working on a foldable iPhone. And that's true, Apple has drawn up patents upon patents upon patents for this concept. But there has never really been enough information for this foldable iPhone to actually turn out to be a real product, and quite frankly, I don't think Apple will ever make a foldable phone. And here's why. Reason number 1. Durability no matter what marketing jargon other smartphone companies throw at you to sell their foldable offering, there has never been one that is made of actual glass, as in scratches at a level 6 with deeper grooves at a level 7. Although this aspect of foldable smartphones has been improving ever since, there has never been new breakthrough technology to have been released that overcomes this key durability flaw. Apple has never released a touchscreen product without a glass display. And not only that, foldable smartphones have creases as well. Something that wouldn't be like Apple to sell millions upon millions of around the world. Which brings us to reason number two, volume. Although they're becoming increasingly popular, foldable phones only account for 1.5% of the smartphone market. iPhone sales contribute to half or even more than half of Apple's sales revenue. So if they're gonna put not just all that R&D, but also create new production lines to make this all new iPhone sell like hotcakes, it won't really be worth it for them. Affordable phones are cool, yes, but look around. Most people still have an ordinary smartphone, one that doesn't fold or flip. What would be a bit more likely and kinda necessary is if Apple released a foldable iPad or MacBook, because these product lines are generally sold in a much lower volume than iPhones are. Also, utilizing all that space for a large foldable display would be much more practical as it would serve for a larger canvas for not only artists but also editors, filmmakers, developers, and more, giving them more area to work. And reason number three, vision. We now know that Apple's vision for the future is to jam all our technology into our eyes, literally. The Apple Vision Pro is a testament to that vision, and they're already taking a really big risk going all in on this new way of interacting with technology. Apple's future is in spatial computing, and we know that eventually, this new vision line will replace the iPhone. So it's very unlike Apple to take this big of a risk on a foldable product when number one, it's not durable enough for their standards, number two, it's not practical enough for the whole world to adopt it, and number three, it won't sell enough to make a big return on their investment when their ultimate goal is on something completely different and more revolutionary. Either way, it would still be really interesting for Apple to release a foldable iPhone, but if we're being realistic here, Apple will never make one. Probably.